Today, we become legends. Smite's ranked god borders are one of the game's biggest mysteries. No one really understands why you get them, what you have to do to rise up the ranks, or if they even mean anything. I've come across a few posts and even a video or two trying to explain the origins and requirements for getting a god border of a specific tier, but none of them sufficiently explained it in my eyes. So today, through the help of my own personally curated data, we're going to hopefully unravel some of these mysteries and determine once and for all what it takes to get a ranked god border and what factors influence your rating with certain gods. So for any of you who completely ignore ranked or just want a quick refresher, after 10 games of ranked in a given game mode on a specific god, you get placed into the leaderboards for that god. You get a frame ranging from gold to platinum, diamond and finally masters based on numerous factors. You also climb the points leaderboard as you play more games and earn more points. If you're in the top 100 players based on these points for your god in a specific game mode, you'll be shown on the ranked leaderboards for that god. Okay, so with the basics laid out, let's get into my data and analysis of exactly what it takes to get a ranked frame and to get those elusive god points. I gathered information such as wins, losses, total games, win rate and current rank for 30 unique players, 10 for each mode, for each of the 4 ranked frame types from the god leaderboards. From this I calculated averages, maxima and minima as well to get a more generalised view of the dataset without having to take in 30 different entries per rank. So first up, the elusive masters border. These are pretty rare and there are some gods with no current players in the top 100 earning a masters border. The average win rate for a border of this type was 91.31%, with the max win rate being 100%, so no losses, and the minimum being 74.42%, so roughly 4 wins for every loss. Wait, that's not how that works. So roughly 3 wins for every 1 loss. In terms of total games on the god, the average for this was 36.17, with a max of 263 and a minimum of 10, which is the amount you actually need to qualify into the leaderboards for the god. As for the actual rank of the player, the average rank here was High Platinum, with the highest ranked player being Grandmasters with 2619 MMR, and the lowest ranked player being Bronze 3. For the Diamond Border, average win rate was 81.05%, with a maximum of 100% again, and a minimum of 62.5%. Total Games average was 64, with a maximum of 279, and minimum of 14. Rank average was once again High Platinum, highest rank was Grandmasters again with 2538 MMR this time, and the lowest rank was Bronze 1. For the Platinum God Border, average win rate was 67.05%, with a max of 85%, and a minimum of 49.59%. Total games average was 75.67, max total games was 246 with a minimum of 18. Average rank was high gold with masters 2193 MMR as the top rank and bronze 3 as the lowest rank. And finally gold borders. These had an average win rate of 51.64% in my sample with a max win rate of 67% and a minimum of 0% or no wins. Total games average was 110.23 with a maximum of 792 games and a minimum of 13. Average rank for the gold frame was mid gold with the highest being masters 2443 MMR and minimum once again being bronze 3. Ok so that's the data I've gathered, what are the key takeaways from this? Well the first thing that jumps out to me is that you can get a gold border with a 0% win rate. That was something that I didn't think was possible prior to gathering this data, but there was a Ganesha duel in my sample who went 0 for 13 and still had a gold border. So to me this means that as long as you played 10 games on a god, you will at least get a gold border regardless of win rate or rank, meaning they effectively mean nothing at face value, you'd have to look at the person's actual win rate to determine if they actually deserve a frame. Win rate appears to be the most important factor when determining which border you will have, but it's not absolute. The average win rates for each frame show a clear downward trend, with diamond frames having on average a win rate 10.26% lower than masters frames, Platinum being 14% lower on average than diamond frames, and gold being 15.41% lower on average than platinum frames. However, these are average win rates, and within the full dataset we can clearly see that it's not just win rate that affects frames, and especially for the top two frames, masters and diamond, it's pretty inconsistent. The minimum masters frame win rate is 74.42%, which is significantly lower than the highest win rate for a platinum frame at 85%. So there are clearly other factors influencing things here, otherwise that would not be the case. Another quick note is that negative win rate frames appear to only be a thing in platinum and gold tiers, not diamond or masters, though this could just be a result of the relatively low sample size of my manual testing. The lowest win rate in platinum was 49.59% and it was very rare to see a sub 50% win rate in plat frames. It was more common in gold frames though with 4 of my 30 samples being sub 50% win rate. So if it's not solely based on win rate, what else factors in? 
While I don't think the total games actually has an impact on what type of frame you have, we do see a trend of more total games as you go down the frames. From 36.17 average in Masters frames to 110.23 average in Gold frames. We see a consistent increase in the average total games across each frame. I think this is because as you play more, your win rate normalises towards 50% and hence your frame will get worse. It was very rare to see more than 50 total games in the Masters frame category, but that totally flips in gold, where it was actually uncommon to see less than 50 games, most were more than. As for the actual rank of the player, this does seem to have some small impact on the frame type, but it's very slight. The average rank for Masters and Diamond frames was the same, with high platinum. It then slightly decreases to high gold for platinum frames and mid gold for gold frames. I did however notice a trend that people further up the points leaderboard were higher rank, which leads me to believe that higher ranked players gain more points towards the leaderboard, but in terms of the actual type of frame you get, player rank seems to have very little impact. There were bronze players with masters frames, as well as masters players with gold frames, and everything in between in my sample of 120 players. So what can we conclude about ranked god borders from this? Well, the main influencing factor or the type of frame you get is win rate. The higher win rate you have, the better the frame, the lower the win rate, the worse the frame. For a master's frame, you should be aiming for roughly 80 to 100% win rate. For diamond, you're looking at 70 to 90%. Platinum is roughly 60 to 80%, and gold is any win rate that would not earn you a platinum frame. This can be as low as 0% and you will still get a gold frame, provided you've played 10 games as that god in a given mode. As you can see there is a bit of overlap here and that's because there isn't a specific win rate you have to get to achieve a certain frame. Multiple things seem to factor in and sometimes it makes outright no sense, with some 100% win rate players with a decent amount of games still having diamond frames, while there was a 74% win rate player that still had a masters frame. So take frames with a grain of salt, they're not absolute by any means. Worse frames tend to have more total games, but this is likely caused by win rates normalising as you play more matches and not directly influencing frame types. In other words, if you only have 10 matches, having 0 losses is reasonable, but if you have 200 total matches, having 0 losses is almost impossible, especially outside of Duel. And player rank has very little to no effect at all on frame type. The small difference we do see is likely a result of higher ranked players dedicating more time to mastering a god and having a high win rate because of that. There were both masters and bronze players with frames of every type, so rank pretty much doesn't matter in terms of frame type. Though it does matter for gaining points towards the god leaderboard, which is a different system entirely from what I've seen and it is based on rank, win rate and total games played, all three of those factors will play a part. Some other factors that may influence frame type but I can't confirm or refute are performance in each game, as in KDA, GPM etc. It's kind of impossible or extremely difficult to prove or disprove this one as well as performance relative to other players on that god, so maybe if there's less people with a good win rate on a certain god, you have a higher chance of getting a border. Though this seems unlikely, as I've seen gods with up to 10 masters borders on leaderboards and some with zero, so it doesn't seem to like balance out based on other players, it's just yourself. So hopefully this data and analysis has helped you understand ranked frames a little better and decide if they actually mean anything. Take this with a grain of salt since none of this is official data and the sample size isn't enormous, but this should give you a decent idea of what to expect from each frame tier. Hyros have been silent on exactly how this system works so far, so I think this is the best we're going to get. If you did enjoy, then don't forget to drop a like before you leave, and I'll catch you guys in another video later on. Have a great day, and peace out, you nerds.